All right, so what's the last part now, now that we figured out which numbers we have? Now we have to figure out the arrangement for the chips. Okay. So I'll just make, this is chip one, this is the front and back. The okay. back's the side that's not showing. All right. Two. And number three. Okay. And we know the, the fronts of all of them. All right. I'm just going to make it in order. Six. Oops. Seven. And eight. Okay. Let's erase this. Okay. Great. So we have six, seven, and eight. Now, now maybe we should, maybe we can check the sums to, to see the numbers that are not the back. Okay. We can check off the numbers. All right. So what do you want to check first? Let's check 16. It was 4, 5, and 7. Okay. So this means 4 and 5 are not the opposite of 7. So Ah. And the thing we but the thing we know actually first is none of these numbers are opposite. But we all, we have three new numbers. So the only left for 7 is 9. The only number not left for 7 is 9. Ah, I see. Since 4 and 5 are paired with 7, they can't be opposite of 7. And we already know 6 and 8 aren't opposite 7, so it has to be 9. Whoa. Whoa, well, we got a big start. All right, good start. Okay, so now we know where the 9 is. Okay, cool. And now, 4, 5, 8 for, eight, for 17. But but these are the same numbers, but so this, this doesn't work, because you, these are the same numbers up here, so you can't eliminate anything. Mm -hmm. But and it means two of them have to be paired with nine. Maybe there's a different arrangement to sum up to 17. Mm -hmm. Ooh, four, five, eight. It's thrown, thrown us for a little bit of a loop. Okay. Maybe we, maybe there, yeah, well, maybe there is. I've, Four six seven. Four six seven. Four plus yeah, that works. The four is not paired with six or seven, so four has to be with eight. Okay. And now we only have we then we only have. Phew. That was a good save. And now we only have one number to be paired with six. Okay. What? Which is what? Five. All right. So now we figured out the problem. All right. Well, what adds up to twenty? Well, adds up. Well, what do you mean? Well, the sums for twenty. Well, what were the numbers that summed up to be twenty? Well, we can do well, four, seven, nine. Four, seven, nine. Yeah. Four, seven, nine. Does that work? Four plus seven is eleven. Plus nine is twenty. And it's not paired with seven or nine. Yep. Four is not paired with seven or nine. That's true. So we could get the chips to be, say, four, seven, nine Except on the table? that nine is paired with seven. Ooh. So we have to have another arrangement. Okay. Well, what's, well, you could do seven plus, you can do the arrangement I found, seven, eight, five. Seven, eight, five. Okay, does that work? Well, this says that it says that five and six. It says that seven and eight are not paired. With well, for the arrangement you have over there, could you get seven, eight, five? Well, there's. Well, the well. Seven, well, the, but two of these are fronts, so. Two of these are in front. Yes, th this this can work. Okay. How? Well, because five isn't paired with seven or eight, it's paired right. with six. So what does that mean? What would happen when I threw the chips on the table? What would I get? Well, you could get this. How? By the eight lands, the seven lands, and the five lands. Makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Now for twenty three. How do I get to twenty three? Nine eight six. Nine eight six. Okay, can I get nine eight six? Well, nine, that's okay. Eight, that's okay. Six, that's okay. All right.
Yes. Yes. Good job, guys. So you found it. Is this the arrangement you found when, when you did the problem today? Yep. Yeah. All right. I like this problem. Good job. Thanks to Fawn for uh, sharing this problem. That was a fun one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That was a fun one.